I'm, um, I'm a dad now, and uh, yeah, I mean, I've been a dad for a long time. My son is really here. My son is 17 years old, and he's here with, at the show, like, he's got a wristband on, and they were like, don't let him drink. Um, my son is, yeah, I have a 17 year old kid, it's crazy. I'm, I, 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 it's so nuts having a teenager. I wanted a teenager. The entire time I was, I had him young, and the whole time he was growing up, I was like, I want a fucking teenager. Because the whole time he's been growing up, everybody's like, where do you have a teenager, Ben? Where do you get to the teenage years? <laughs> Yeah, wait till you get to the teenage years. Kids these days, they're fucking different. That's what everybody says, they're fucking different. I have a teenager now and I'm here to tell you all, they're not any fucking different. <laughs> they're the exact same fucking things they've always been. It's crazy. In fact, my son, when he was turning 14, I remember this vividly, I went to him and I was like, hey dude, what do you want to do for your 14th birthday? And he was like, Psh, I don't know. And I was like, make it cheap, let's not go. I thought he wanted to go to like a gaming cafe or to race drones or do something futuristic. And he was like, no, you know what, dad? Honestly, I just think me and my friends want to go roller skating. Yeah. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, I just think we want to go roller skating. And I was like, that's, a, that's the most American teenage thing ever. What one of us as teenage kids didn't go roller skating when we were in middle school or whatever? Look at you, even you, felon looking guy. You're like, yeah, fuck yeah, I roller skated. It's crazy, it's, we all did it. And do you not, you wanna know what my son and his dork friends did at that roller skating <laughs> rink, do you wanna know? They fucking roller skated. <laughs> do you know what I've never done? In the hundreds of times I went to a roller skating rink between the ages of 11 and 13 years old, I'd never put on a pair of roller skates once. I used to just stand in front of the door of Happy Wheel Skate Center and rip Marlboro mediums one right after the other and plan my next fire. That's all I did. I'd just stand up front in a Def Leppard shirt and be like, we're gonna burn down Carl's Tuff Shed after this, right? But my son and his friends, they actually skated. They played the claw game. They had pizza, it was adorable. And you're all like, Ben, how do you know that he actually did that? Because he's a teenager, you can't trust him. Oh, I'll tell you how I know. He invited me! <laughs> my fucking teenage son invited his dad to go roller skating with him at his birthday party. He was like, Dad, do you want to come along to my birthday party? And I was like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Daddy wants to go skating. <laughs> You'd have me? And he's like, as long as you don't call yourself Daddy for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, you're right. I guess your generation has ruined the word, haven't you? <laughs> oh, God. He was like, are you crying? And I was like, I've been to jail. <laughs> and I was like, my dad would, I would have never invited my, my parents anywhere. Like I would have never, and he invited me and it was so cool. And I was like, fuck, I'm going roller skating with my boy. <laughs> Oh, what am I gonna wear? Like, that's a big thing. And I was so fucking pumped, and I'm like, what are we gonna do? And he was like, Dad, why are you so psyched to go roller skating? And I was like, kiddo, I used to roller skate as a kid. I haven't been into one of those shits in like 26 years. I can't wait to go inside that building and see all the cool ways in which they've updated it. <laughs> And all of you that are laughing are laughing because you know that hasn't fucking happened at all. I walked in the door and I was like, holy fuck! And he was like, what? And I'm like, it's exactly as we left it. And he was like, really? And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure my joint is still behind the locker. It's a fucking time capsule. In fact, I've become totally convinced that there is only one contracting company on the planet that has the license to build every roller skating rink on the planet in perpetuity forever, right? 
Like if your town wants a roller skating rink, you just call this company up and a pot-bellied guy in a hard hat shows up and he's like, hey man, what's going on? Someone said you all wanted to put up a roller skating rink up here or what? I'm like, yep, right on, man. You want me to build you a squat, windowless cement building set back in a dirt parking lot that looks totally out of place in your town? <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Right on, cool, man. You want me to carpet that thing on the inside with wall the fucking wall? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Right on, man. You want me to carpet the fucking walls? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I want you to carpet the fucking walls. I want to get a rug burn on my elbows if I'm just walking somewhere with poop. Why are the walls always carpeted? No one has ever asked that question. What a weird, weird design thing. And everyone, it's uniform. It's just like, do, do roller skating rinks turn into the creepiest BDSM clubs after hours? Like at two in the morning, are there just fucking cable executives cheese grating their balls on the fucking wall? <laughs> that, and I had forgot that roller skating is a fucking enigma. It's one of the weirdest, weirdest pastimes on the planet. Because if you think about it, it's one of the few pastimes on the planet where if you're really, really, really fucking good at it. It sort of creeps everybody the fuck out. <laughs> and if you aren't laughing at that, that's because you're an adult who roller skates and you're a fucking creep is what you are. Don't think I don't see you down there. Now listen, I do want to say this. It is totally sexist. This is a very real sexist divide. If you're a woman and you can roller skate, it's kind of hot. Like, it is kind of hot. I kind of like, it's fine, it's fine. You get out there, a little disco music, you know, it's, it's hot. But if you're just an adult dad, like, think about it, say, you're, say, say this, say you're having a birthday party for a little kiddo and it's a softball game, right? And you're the dad that shows up and every time you're up to the plate, you're like, all right kids, back up. Mr. Roy's at the plate now, and you're just cranking home runs over the fence. Do you think anybody is bummed about that? No, no one is upset. All the other kids are like, holy fucking shit! He just hit that in the fucking road! I don't know why this kid has a thick Boston accent. It's an odd character choice. Or say you're having a bowling party and you're the dad that shows up and without even trying, you just lay out a 270 without even blinking. You think anybody's bummed about that? No, no, all the other dads are watching you bowl this game from their area and they're like, holy shit. Honey, that's his eighth strike in a row. Hey, you know what, bud? Fuck my wife. I want you to fuck my wife. I want you to raise my son. Cause you're more of a man than I'll ever fucking be. Did you just bowl a 258 on an amateur lane? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but if you have a roller skating party and everybody arrives and you're the dad that's already there before anybody gets there. And when they come in, they get to the rink and you just come whipping around the corner backwards. And you cross in front of that open area and you're like, everybody lace up, couple skate starts in three songs. And you're doing that weird sideways crotch buffet as you go by. All of a sudden, everybody in the building is like, hey, did you know that Ted's a sex offender? I had, I had no fucking clue, I didn't. I didn't see that coming. He works for the state. They're not doing background checks anymore, huh? Oh, fuck. Yeah, look at that. He's skating backwards again. Okay, you know what, kiddo? Uh, we're gonna stay away from old feels on wheels for the rest of the year. Well, I don't know. It just looks like your Uncle Ted is working through a few things out there. 
<laughs> you all know that guy. We used to go to a roller skating rink. There'd be 130 tweens out there on the fucking roller skating rink and then just one 40 year old dude fucking ripping it up. You can't feel it. It's electric. Boogie, 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 boogie. And then he crosses in front and does this shit where he gets low and then he... One of you assholes in here does that. <laughs> and you think it's funny. You're sitting here laughing. You're like, yeah, that's me. I skate well. But little do you know, you are playing with fucking fire. Because if you don't know it, let me tell you all, if you're an adult male over the age of 35 years old, and you turn a corner at a roller skating rink by crossing one skate over the other as you go around that corner, you are automatically a level two sex offender in the state of Colorado. Yeah, you now have to register with your neighbors when you move into an area. You wanna be a dad who roller skates? Get your ass out. Grab the railing, pull yourself along the wall. No one is scared of this guy. Hi guys, hi. Oh, yeah.